Hey everyone, Steve here from PC Budget Solutions and this is the final unboxing and installation of the four. Next, what you should see is the showdown. And I'm actually gonna be including more than just these four. I'm probably include the Master Liquid 120, which I do have. And I'm probably gonna also look at the stock cooler as well. But today is the unboxing, overview, and installation of the Deepcool Gamax 400. I personally have used this cooler before in Push Pull on Ryzen. It worked fantastic. But now I'm gonna show you how to install for not just AM4, but LGA 11 5X as well, just like I have for all the other ones. So it's actually, um, full disclosure, actually already installed, but uh, you're gonna see how I did it. So hopefully you guys uh, enjoy the video and let's come, go along for the ride. So uh, let's go ahead, oh, let's see what Gamax says about it. Uh, a lot of different languages, a lot of different support, installation instructions on the box. It looks to be identical to the last um, cooler we did from Deep Cool. So, ooh, this wasn't in perfectly, but I mean, it's probably fine. So let's go ahead and, uh, yeah, it looks fine. I mean, it doesn't even look like it was used or anything. So, so here we have the cooler, already has a fan installed. This I like, so let me actually lower the, I'm gonna lower this down here so you guys can actually see. So the reason why I like this is because it just gives, it gives some clearance here. So there definitely could be, um, you know, not necessarily memory in a way. Well, if you, if you, I guess if you set up that, I don't know. I like it. I feel like it could definitely help with some clearance. So let's take a look at what's included. It's most likely mounting hardware. Oh look, the exact same thing <laughs> with the last one. So we have these guys for a second fan. We have, I be it feels a little bit stronger mounting hardware. Um, screws that come with the thermal paste, more mounting hardware. So um, this should be pretty quick. This should go on identical to the last one, but just in case you guys may not want to go watch a different video with a slightly different cooler, let me show you guys how it works. AMD first. Just as a side note, if you did watch the last video, these, um, on the other side, I find it kind of interesting and they are, they are stuck here. Maybe that's how it should be done. I don't know, you guys tell me in the comments. So this is actually gonna be really easy to install. Remove this as always. There's something that needs to consistently be done with all these coolers. Put that there. And what's cool is since this has four heat pipes, it is balancing really nicely. A uh, deep cool thermal paste is fine. If you have something better, use it. But I mean, it's not gonna make a big difference. For my testing that I'm gonna be doing, which that video is gonna come a little bit after this one, um, I'm gonna use the stock thermal paste because the assumption that I'm going to make is that you're not gonna buy different thermal paste. And that is why you should hold this so you don't break something. Luckily, I hit the back port and it's fine, but again, do as I say, not necessarily as I do. That and that. Easy. Easy breezy pumpkin, I don't know. So I'm gonna do what I did last time. And what I did last time was, again, don't forget the thermal paste. And I brought it down, just like that. That easy. <sighs> I just wish they made the mounting a little bit better. It is what it is. Uh, I, I hate, I don't know, I just, I don't like this fan mounting. I feel like it could be done better. You figure, I honestly like Cooler Masters mounting better on the fans. I know that's a shocker because their <laughs> they're mounting otherwise is pretty, ugh, to say the least. There we go, there we go. Actually, I just realized you guys can't see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna go ahead and turn this around here. So it's a little bit easier. And 
I'm actually gonna pitch the camera up so you guys can see better. What I find it really interesting is how much this fan, this one right here, it looks like a 212 Evo fan. Just it's transparency and blade type and everything. I just, I find it interesting. Maybe copyright, I don't know. Maybe they license the fan design. That definitely can be a possibility. Uh, again, I absolutely do not like this fan mounting mechanism. All right, we're just gonna mount it like this because, well, I don't wanna have to flip it over again. I actually probably would have flipped it over. That way I'd have a shorter run for the fan header. But again, it was going my nerves. So, okay, that's AMD. Easy. Full disclosure, <laughs> when I took, the, um, took this off the uh, AMD setup, uh, I had to take off the <laughs> stock mounting because my hand, I just couldn't angle it right to get it off. So. Just keep an eye on that. Uh, if you have big hands like me, that definitely could be something you may have to do. Uh, luckily, the Intel mounting in this regard is actually quite easy, just like the last one. In fact, it is the last one. It's identical. There's literally no difference. And you're going to see this time probably even easier. Last time I did it with the fans installed, but it still went on like instantly. So, but this is for your LGA 11, 5X, etc. So it goes on just like that. What we want to do is make sure these are all turned the correct way. Easy. Okay, and then you simply you don't have to lift the board up, but I do. When you hear that snap in, that, that actually doesn't mean you broke something. Oh, this one was turned. That last one. How it works is it actually splits this down here. I mean, it doesn't actually break it, but that part's done. Oh God, gotta do this again. <laughs> here, I'll do this in front this time so you guys can see. Mm -hmm. Did I ever mention how much I hate this mounting? I'm not sure if I did when it comes to the fan. I mean, it works, it's just, I'm just, I don't like it. So, what I'll do is I'm gonna pull this over, keep it in place, and hopefully I don't get too much of my body or face in the view here, only because you guys need to be able to see. Okay, aw. Okay, I salvaged it, cool. And then, voila, just like that. And it is installed, voila. So it's still installed, just like it was when I did the intro. Um, yeah, did things got a little bit out of order, but as you see, it's a very easy CPU cooler to install. I don't like the fan mounting personally, it just has never been one that I've liked, but it works perfectly fine there's nothing wrong with it uh it's just i got big fingers and that makes it hard but uh hopefully you guys do like this it does perform well but you know the proof is going to be in the pudding so you will see it here shortly two days most likely um but if you want to buy this check out the link below on amazon it should be around 30 35 dollars um if you do like this video you can also like it if you didn't like it hit the dislike button but consider subscribing and uh, that's pretty much it. As always, this is Steve from PC Budge Solutions, and I will see you all later on down the road.